Clinton. She unleashed her inner Elizabeth Warren while relaunching her campaign on Roosevelt Island in New York City over the weekend. Boy, oh boy, brace yourselves because if she's elected, I think we'll all sell our stocks. I've got a deal for the president. I'm a father as well as a governor. I'm a husband. I'll protect my kids from the Oreo cookies if he will do his job as commander in chief and protect us from the terrorists. Well, I think, uh, Steve, what it shows is that being black in America ain't all that bad. Eric Holder says that there still is pernicious racism in America. If racism is so pernicious, why would a white person pretend to be black? The answer is follow the money. She got jobs, position, power, and she benefited from that deep reservoir of guilt that, that black people benefit from because of the history of slavery. Mrs. Clinton is perpetuating a ruse that the federal government can dictate who earns what in America. It can't. This is not unique to American society, Megan. This is a moral deficiency that all of humanity shares. I really don't think Hillary is speaking from her heart. Why are we supposed to believe her today when we've had a hard time believing her over the last 20 years? Hey, Bill, it'd be all right with me if she said that I could earn what she and her husband have been earning. I'm getting sick and tired of people engaging the police in these situations, not complying with their lawful commands, resisting arrest, fighting the police, and think that the police should just go home. I sort of think the headline should be, Donald Trump announces net worth, comma, presidential campaign. <laughs> a mixed audience or a conservative audience almost always is a better crowd. I don't know why. I, they just... I've noticed that conservatives are able to laugh at themselves. Liberals are so afraid. So why, why don't we just dump all the boxes that we check off in life, right? Why don't we just skip it, you know, because we're all Americans, and why do we need to have an NAACP at this point, Richard, and different organizations that represent uh, different groups if we're all just going to be what we feel? But that's the way liberalism is. It's brave and courageous when you're shooting a cop and also crazy. You want an aggressive pat down? Let me go train them. Because oh, it's an issue of privacy and not manhandling yeah, people at the airport. I'm, I'm a woman, but I can manhandle somebody. You look at me, someone who is a black conservative, I am criticized, called all kinds of names. I'm told I act white, I talk white, I should dye my hair blonde. I don't get I don't get support from the NAACP, Al Sharpton, or Jesse Jackson. I'm considered a sellout. But this person is celebrated. Go figure. When you see her on a stage or when she comes into a room full of people, uh, she's smiling with her mouth, but her eyes are saying, uh, you know, where, where's my latte? Let's define hate. Hate does not have a color. This disturbed young man, I understand he's Caucasian, and he shot black people, and that's not good. But evil is not just limited right. to color. But I if you want an amnesty candidate who likes a, a common core, you can vote for Hillary or Jeb. There is a long list of demands that jihadists have. This is the line in the stand. This is where we must take a stand. The majority of the American people stand with me. Uh, because if you cannot speak critically of a particular group, then they will rule you unopposed. And I don't believe that Americans stand for that. So if you could tell me, not you tonight, but if the president or Hillary Clinton could tell me what law they think could stop stupid parents from doing stupid things that lead to mass murder, I'm all ears. No, and let me tell you something here, too. This is liberal fascism at its worst. It's not really about the climate. It's about controlling you. You know, to me, it's repugnant in this country that we have to say what race we're on, on government forms and census. I think people should just tell them all to go to hell. The question is whether the focus is on the wrong thing, because remember the mental health thing? Remember how we were going to crack down on that? After Newtown, mm -hmm. what happened? We're, we're racing to a Bush-Clinton presidency, right? Right. Is that nuts? And he, every single time, it seems, comes out and uses it as an opportunity for division. That's part of his legacy. That's part of how he's going to be remembered, the kind of president he's going to be remembered as. And I don't think that that's good for anyone to see. I'm pointing out the absurdity of a lot of these comments. I get it that he's entertaining. I know that he loves America. I know he's done a lot of great things. He also has done things without ever having to work with 535 members of Congress. I think America's moved well beyond the nonsense of the NAACP that acts as if it cares about black people when in fact it doesn't. Gun control doesn't prevent crime for the following reason. Criminals don't seek registration. <laughs> 
I love salt. I love sugar. I love fat. I know I'm very overweight myself. I only have one life to live. I want to eat it. Eat. Let's live my life eating fat, salty, sugary foods. And I don't want the Orwellian thought police standing over me. And I find it is an absolute rule that people who try to control my intake of food are mentally ill.